I'm ready for some fucking pancakes. What, um, what does EDM stand for? Electronic dance music. All right. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about pancakes? We've been waiting I'm sorry, it's Valentine's Day. Andros, to give context, we're recording this on Valentine's Day, like and I'm single as shit, up. and I want to treat myself to some pancakes to compensate for this? it. Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. A friend of Lord Tyrion's. What does that mean? Are we playing games now? She's too modest. Do you remember where Allow we were? Me to introduce Lady Mira sort of, of House Forrester. You gotta ha you negotiate Ironwood. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. I'm here to sell our Ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira. Is that what we were supposed to do? Maybe. Spoke. You're I supposed listened. to, like, negotiate Mira Ironwood. Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You them? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor Ooh, just That's give him a resting Andros. bitch face. <laughs> you didn't Lord. like that. Tyrion. Fuck the White Hills. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Well, that was easy. Why were you asking what EDM was? I don't know. It's just a random now, question. As for your offer, did you genuinely did not heart. know what that was? Man? I didn't know what it meant. No. The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Mm-hmm. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Uh-oh. Don't want that. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. Because we've got the Ironwood. Hmm. Notice I said that with a question. Yes, I noticed. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. You, we know we can trust Tyrion. I just Tyrion. asked you for an open favor. And of you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. <laughs> You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us or very bad for you. I don't have to suck your penis, also, do I? I hope it's the former. I mean, it's Tyrion, you My never lady. know. I think at this point he's still infatuated with Shay, I think. The pressure... Ooh, a trophy. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> no problem, I just play the game. <laughs> We're back with uh, Asher now, that's what his name is. I think mm -hmm. so. Asher was a villain in Spartacus. You think it's the same one like parallel universes? Oh my god. No, no it's not. <laughs> okay, now you can move. It's cursor time. <laughs> Sarah <at> sand. <laughs> Look at logs. <laughs> Look at log. <laughs> they were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. You're to save your Come on, we're bros! More than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. 
An army of cell swords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Uh-oh. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. Let's go somewhere else then. Or outbid them. One eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> He'll help us. Ah, uh, she's gonna rat you out. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. So, yo, sup, bro? By the way, you owe me that favor. I need an army of mercs right now. Oh, it's a fucking well, ambush. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north. We're about to get so fucked up. For Marine. She's Wait, probably about to Marine. get fucked up. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Okay. Right. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, it worked anyways. Ponte Renas. You guy had on Josie Botago Costotti da Or. It's time to get all stealthy up in this bitch. To kill him. You gotta take him out, or she's gonna take him out. How did he not see us? Hopefully, Let's there's go. some way to. Hopefully, yeah, drag the body, Wait, maybe. I'll give you that, but you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way. I just splinter cell his ass. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Yeah! I'm pumped up, bros! Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to <coughs> save winter. And winter is like 30 years in this world, so... I wish it was like that in real life. I love winter. Yeah. But, Some, summer blows. But then again, the drawback, summer would be just as long. It's worth the trade-off. And we're about to meet up with Coal Boy again. I think. Oh, good. Hall walking action. <laughs> oh, your door's open. Somebody be snooping. Or you're about to get invited into the Illuminati. One of the two. Oh, yeah. Someone be snooping. Hello? Don't call out. That's the first thing that... Don't you ever know about horror movie tropes? They don't answer. You're gonna get your ass killed. I'm not gonna get killed. I'm not even naked. There's a no uh, there's a broken vase and a note on your bed. Mira. Very bad and very badly written calligraphy. You know, I bet you it's the White Hills that are snooping around. Look at chest. <laughs> Look at note. <laughs> read note. Would you like to read the note? I have information that will aid you with the M. 
Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Cold boy. <laughs> Signed, Cold boy. <laughs> I have a name, you know. It's Ma. I'm just gonna call you Cold boy. That is your name. So it is. So it shall be. But my name is yeah. actually <clears throat> Roderick. Should last mm -hmm. through Lady Elaine. All right, Cold boy. Let's go. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Robert. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. Aw, oh, shit. With Glenmore's army and the sellswords, you might have a chance. <coughs> remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. <laughs> what I mean is, that means you can still you fuck her good. Produce an heir, it should not be a concern. Stevlin question. Of course not. I just meant enough, Maester. Is I tested it out myself four times since I got home. Sure, how she might feel about my good arm. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. Luckily, I'm. Luckily, I am right-handed. Unwanted advice. Let me handle this, mother. You're right. I'm sorry. I can't wait to see you fuck this up. Hey, fuck you. She's here. How much longer do we have in the episode? Uh, about eight minutes. Oh. It's a perfect good time to talk about something. Oh, is that? Well, since we've last recorded, you finally saw the room. <laughs> yeah. What did you think? It was something else. Was it not wonderful, though? It was hilariously bad. <laughs> Huh? I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. <laughs> I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. But was it not like that kind of bad that kind of made you feel Absolutely good watching it? <laughs> yeah, I was constantly giggling throughout. Yeah, it was like, wonderful. I don't even get that out of comedies. <laughs> a lot of the time. I mean, I just we just got that out of we just got that out of Deadpool. We saw Deadpool the other so, day. Yeah, that was really are. funny. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as Beautiful as ever, Elena. <laughs> oh, thank you. About to do some swabbing. I set out for Iron Rath as soon as I heard you were. If they were arranged, he hit the jackpot. I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But Stand. now your house prepares for a funeral, and you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. <laughs> Might be a while before we dance again, then. Then it's like, <laughs> nose falls off. <laughs> Doing just fine! I didn't need that. So much has changed since we were children. Oh, the better to taste you with, Lady Elena. <laughs> You're so easy to find. You always in behind the same tree. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Oh, good going. But Roderick, I, I mean you're cool and all, I but I don't know. <laughs> oh, when I no. arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers, White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Renzi Snow insisted. You gotta be honest with her. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No. He just wants to assure our loyalty. My brother at least assured that. I'm going to be honest with you. R.I.P. Let's pull one out for him, yo. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why it's Lady arranged. Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Lady Marjorie must have her reason. Do you think I'm naive? <laughs> uh oh. I don't know what favors you had it's to do. It's a forced letter! I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. 
I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Why totally. Why do you do that to me? After everything we've shared? If this is the only way to secure an alliance, then yes. For my family. You trapped me, Roderick. Damn it. Oh, no. I just cock blocked well. myself. I'll tell my father how Trodal stands. But this will be a marriage of necessity. Oh no! Shit! Fuck! Alive. Ever fucking now! Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he. The rumors are true. Shit! I should have gave her freedom to you choose, Phil. No yep, you should have. Now I'm not like ever getting pussy anymore. again. Just out of making babies. To this wretched family. Yes, I am. Roderick can be very convincing. You can do much better than this cripple. I told you he could have handled it on his own. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting My question is, do I get take backs? But I never expected him to barge in like this. She practically begged me to come. Of course I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? Mm -hmm. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're threatening them and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Uh oh. Fuck your soldiers. Fuck you. Roderick, please. <laughs> Maybe you have a chance to redeem yourself with Elena. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So. If you want Ryan at that funeral, sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. What? If you Just want the little the... brother to attend the funeral, you, you don't want gotta to kneel. Like your brother, do you? Please. Do I want that? Nothing. I'm to get to see Ryan well, again. you gotta make Go a decision. On. Get on your knees. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Fox. You can't Ramsey do that. Snow, so I know what Ramsey Dude, you're fucking it all up. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. I think that I am definitely initiating a war here. Yep. <laughs> because they're dicks. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. An unhappy marriage? A war? An unsynchromonious trade deal? By the way. My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. All of Isn't which got burned clever? to the ground in the last, like, five minutes. <laughs> <coughs> yep. She's like, oh yeah, fuck that guy. My family into this. Oh no. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. Sometimes you gotta be stern with this shit. My lord. Uh-oh. Are you well? No! The lady I love doesn't love me anymore. I'm going to kill that man. Fucking right. Ooh, a silver trophy. And we're back on the wall. 
Well, on the next episode of Goatface Gaming, we finally get to communicate with Senpai. Hopefully.